We're here today in Quantico, Virginia at the basic school where new Marine Corps lieutenants are learning how to forge. The foraging classes have been added to the school's curriculum as, as the Marine Corps prepares for a potential future war, specifically in the Pacific Islands. For platoons in that environment, being able to get their own food and water from the economy makes them harder to spot and less reliant on long logistic lines. This is just one part of the foraging effort by the Marine Corps. On the enlisted side, Marines are learning how to forage for all kinds of things in addition to food and water, including fuel. All right, good afternoon, Marine! And you said All right, my name is Dr. Major, thank you for joining us today. Uh, can you tell us a little bit about this course? Yeah, absolutely. So when the Commandant released Force Design 2030, he talked about uh, expeditionary advanced basing operations. And a part of that is being sustainable. So what we're teaching the lieutenants, or the students rather here at the basic school, is how to sustain their force uh, for longer periods of time. Uh, what that means is uh, resourcing local um, sources, I guess, to, to find uh, food, to find water, to sustain their force. This isn't about, uh, this isn't about like hunting or this isn't about surviving. This is about uh, keeping their force going longer without the need uh, for a resupply. So is this about, you know, buying from wherever that base is, just going out into the local community, buying whatever they need to supply it instead of the long supply chains? Yeah, absolutely. Um, whether it be buying from a local uh, farmer or going down to a local market, mm -hmm. uh, that's where they're going to be sourcing, sourcing these types of So kind of what is the practical example of this? Is this, you know, a lieutenant with their platoon on an EABO and, and for whatever reason they're, they're running out of food? You know, what, what is kind of, they're taking this from here out into the fleet? We're not concerned about them running out of food per mm -hmm. se. Uh, we're confident in the Marine Corps' ability to uh, resupply and confident in their ability to do logistics and they're working uh, improvements uh, on that uh, from a different angle. Uh, but what we want them to be able to do is extend their forces, extend their capability, remain a, a fighting capable unit for even longer. Take our, uh, our knife and we're going to go at an angle and stay as close to the boat as you can. Uh, the reality is, is not not all Marines grew up hunting or grew up uh, uh, on, on, the, on the plains of uh, the western part of the United States or wherever. Uh, what you have is Marines that come from all different walks of life. So we got to ensure that these Marines have a basic understanding on how do how do you take a whole animal, break it down, butcher it, and then consume it. Uh, and once your comfortability with that grows. I think uh, possibilities are endless. And, and what's the importance of foraging, whether it's for food or fuel, um, for, for Marines downrange? So, uh, great question. We're trying to reduce the amount of logistics necessary to operate. And that, that sounds like a great buzzword in, in practice, but in reality, uh, when you are in that challenging situation, whether it's in a combat zone or uh, combat operations are nearing nearing a, a start. Uh, you have to be comfortable with. Can you go into the local marketplace, whether it's a local town or village, procure a reasonable amount of supplies from that local community, whether that be fuel or food, and 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 uh, consume that to support your operations. There is a there is a uh, an equal amount of reduction in, in logistics by doing that. Mm -hmm. You no longer have to pull from all the way in the continental United States and bring those supplies at great expense all the way to uh, into your uh, your operating area. So it's about lowering prices and kind of getting rid of that long, potentially risky uh, logistics right. line. Is, is there also an element of it of, you know, kind of lowering the signature? I know that's a big thing with, right. with the EABO concept, just making it harder to spot these Marines. Absolutely. How does that play into this? Absolutely. If we can reduce the signature mm -hmm. of logistics, which is a very loud, heavy, cumbersome process, then you, you enable the maneuver force. Uh, I use this analogy often with our Marines that uh, if you have logisticians that are on the battlefield supporting a maneuver force, let's say an infantry battalion, and they are not covered and concealed, they are not reducing their signature, then you undo all the effort that that maneuver force is doing. All the, the, the cami paints, the cami netting, all the operating at night, 
that's all for naught. Mm -hmm. Logistics is loud and screaming in mm -hmm. uh, on these large trucks. And some of that's unavoidable, but the reality is, is that there is much we can do in tradecraft just in logistics mm -hmm. and our logistics MOSs. That once we do that, we now uh, reduce the risk. We start buying down risk by training. Is there anything that you know you learned today, or that, or that you, you know kind of really connected to you? Um, actually, it is because one thing that I had never even considered is we got a brief last week from General Zinni, who told us about how his platoon over in Vietnam specifically lived on the land, and that's something that like never even came into mind because as far as field exercises go, when we're when we're away from like civilization. We always pack out the food that we're going to eat with us. I've never had to worry about where my next meal is going to come, but that's where the updated strategy is come, yeah. going into. It's like we're going to be sent into these different locations where we may potentially not know where our next meal is coming from. And so it, it provides a whole new perspective in terms of survivability out when you're away from your element. I learned a lot today. I literally didn't know anything before uh, we got here, so it's definitely been a learning process. Um, like I didn't realize that you'd be going through like the farmers to get the meat. I thought maybe we'd have to go hunt down a pig or something in the woods. As you can see, the Marines are finishing up their foraging class and will soon be eating the food that they just butchered. For Military Times, this is Phil Bathey.